guys welcome back to my channel and you're watching from Nisha's view and of course I am Nisha and on this channel we talk about fashion and we talk about photography and today we are doing photography talk with Nisha yeah we are on the photography side so what are we talking about we're gonna be talking about raw files versus JPEG now I know it's a, a big topic in the photography world and the photography community of do you shoot raw, do you shoot JPEG? Like I say about everything, it's all in you and all how you, you know, want to deliver your work, how you work and your creativeness. I'm not going to do like a pro or con, I'm going to do more say like a good and not so good thing of each one. So. We're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show some examples of, I only have two, two images. I'm going to show you the differences between the raw file and the JPEG file. So stay tuned and we're gonna get right into it. Hold on. Okay. So raw versus JPEG. Now, when I first started about 10 years ago, I didn't know anything about raw files. Nothing, had no clue about it. I had a mentoring session with my mentor one time in a group session and she talked about, you know, raw files. Do you shoot in raw files? Do you shoot you shoot in JPEG? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and I didn't, honestly, I did not have a clue about what was a raw file. What is that? You know, I just thought the picture came out the way it came out. I had no clue as to why you would want to shoot in JPEG and why you would want to shoot in RAW. So after the session, you know, after the, the mentoring session, I learned where, <laughs> where to change from a RAW file to a JPEG and why it's kind of important to know which one you would want to use. So today we're going to talk about it. Now, since 10 years ago, cameras have changed. A lot has changed in 10 years. When you're looking at your camera and you're wanting to change, you know, from a RAW file to a JPEG file, there's an option in your camera to do that. And I shoot with the Canon R6 and you are able to do this right on the screen to change it between RAW and JPEG. Or if you wanted to do RAW and JPEG, there's an option for that too. So let's just get into the good and not so good things about shooting in RAW and JPEG. Now I am going to pop in a clip of me showing you the difference between the two. I have, like I said, I have two examples that I'm going to show of what the RAW file looked like and what the JPEG looked like. But we're going to talk a little bit more about the differences and the good and not so good of a RAW file and a JPEG. So for RAWs, Raw files come straight out the camera, okay? They come straight out the camera. It is what it is. As long as you expose right, and I use my exposure meter as a guide for myself of, you know, if something's underexposed or overexposed. And depending on the look that I'm going for when it comes to raw files, okay? You're getting whatever it is, it's straight out of camera, no, no post, no nothing is done to the image. If you're ready for something that needs to go straight to the printer, that you want to share with your clients, um, like really like right now, right then, it's ready to go, that would be your JPEG. The JPEG is processed in the camera, right there. It may just give you a finished look more so than a raw file. So if that's something that you're looking for, then the JPEG would definitely be the way to go with that. If you want something fast and quick and ready to hit the printer and ready to give it to your clients, JPEG. Okay, now, raw files are huge. They are very large files because they contain so much data. A, a JPEG file, it's a smaller file and you save, you know, you're going to be saving memory on your card because it is a smaller file because it is compressed and there isn't a lot of detail there like you would with your raw file. If you want a, a file that has a 
lot of detail in it and you want to be able to capture that and pull that detail out in post-processing, you want to do raw file. You want to shoot in raw. If it's just, you know, something quick, um, you're not concerned about pulling out detail and, you know, recovering shadows and highlights and it, anything like that, then JPEG. And they're smaller files, so you're saving your space. Okay? Now, with that, see how this is going? It's going back and forth. It's going back and forth. It's always a good and a not so good. So good and not so good with that. Because if you want that detail and you want to be able to manipulate that photo, you have to post process. Therefore, your raw file would definitely be the way to go. If you're wanting to manipulate the photo, manipulate the light, manipulate your, your shadows, your highlights, and have great dynamic range, your JPEG is not really going to do that. It's not going to give you that ability to pull that detail out. If you've blown out the sky, you know, if you're shooting raw, it's a, it's a possibility. Let me just say a possibility that you could get detail back from that. But if you have a JPEG and you've blown out the sky, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be super hard to pull that detail out. So what I'm gonna do next is just show you the two images that I have, it's just a voiceover of me going through Lightroom and showing you the differences that I see, that I see with the two files. So check it out. So this is JPEG. You can see here ISO 100 because I was outside. Um, I used a 50 millimeter. I was at F3.2 and my speed was 1 over 80. So that's my JPEG, okay? Now my, my raw photo, same thing. I use the exact same settings. ISO 100, 50, F3.2, 180 speed, shutter speed, all the same. I use the same camera, okay? I use the same camera. I use my R6 to take these photos. So, all right, so we're gonna go back to making this our reference and active video. I mean, not video, but reference and active photo. So on again, on the, the reference side, we have, I'll just put it here so you won't get any, any, any confusion. So the left side is our JPEG. The right side is our active. I can tell the difference. There is a difference between the lighting. To me, the raw photo is a little bit brighter. Okay, so the details in here, I can tell that with this sign, the, the raw photo is sharper to me. It is it's much sharper. The blacks are a little bit deeper. There's more contrast in this photo. Um, just looking at, there is definitely more blacks in here and more, yeah, there, there's, there's more contrast with this, but definitely I can tell that there is a difference with the, the sharpness of this, of, of the raw photo. Also the color is a little bit different. To me, on the raw photo, the color is a little bit darker in this gray because the, the shoes are gray and, and black. So to me, there is a difference in the color of this shoe. But noticeably, for sure, this, this sign is sharper. It is sharp. Now let's look at this photo. This one I did inside the house. So my lighting wasn't all that great. So this is going this is our JPEG. And as you can see, I haven't done anything to this. I have not. This is straight out of camera. I've, I've not done anything. 
and the settings all my settings were the same with here i use iso 800 uh, same 50 millimeter same camera r6 i did f3.2 i did 1 over 80 for my shutter speed pretty much the same thing except for i just changed my iso because i came inside and it wasn't a lot of light for for being inside and i wanted to keep a little bit you know something in focus so that's why i chose 3.2 i probably could have went up to four but then we've been pushing it with the eyes so but anyway this is the jpeg this is straight out of camera i haven't done anything to this picture nothing at all this is the um wow i haven't looked at these so this is my real reaction to these pictures besides me editing it but um editing this video but yeah this is the raw photo and i can tell the difference right off the bat right off the bat i can see that this video this video <laughs> this picture is way sharper this is the raw it's way sharper than than my um my jpeg it is very much so okay let's look at it side by side we're gonna do our reference is going to be this is our yeah here we go so on this side we have our um jpeg on the left and on the right we have our raw and you can see the difference you can really see the difference here the raw photo is definitely much sharper this um little trinket little thing here is way 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 sharper than here it is the color you can tell there's a difference in the coloring too of the shoe the shoe is a little bit more um well the picture itself feels like it's a little bit more i don't want to say blue there's like a blue tint on the the raw photo but in the jpeg there's more of a warm it's a cooler tint let me just say blue tint it's a cooler tint on the raw photo but the jpeg it's a little warmer there's a difference there i can definitely see the difference in the red it's a little bit darker than on this side so yeah the, now this is a difference so i guess it just depends on your preference what do you prefer do you prefer you know your raw photo where you can do a lot of more things with this than you probably could do in a with a jpeg but yeah i'm liking the sharpness in this and normally i don't like a lot of sharpness in my photos but you can definitely tell the difference in this sharpness compared to here there is definitely a difference there okay so there you have it and i try to be honest with anything that i'm sharing i try to give my honest opinion and give you true to life you know situations and just be truthful about things and that right there was truthful um i hadn't manipulated any of, of the settings i used the same settings in each of the pictures that i that i that i shared i, I don't want to force my opinion on others and think that what i'm saying is everybody you know you gotta shoot this way you gotta shoot that way no everybody is different everyone is an individual and you do what's best for you so for me i'm just gonna be real honest with you because that's just what I do, is just be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I shoot raw all the time, okay? And you know why I shoot raw all the time? Because I'm a little lazy. I'm a little bit lazy because I don't wanna have to keep going back and forth between changing raw to JPEG, raw to JPEG. I don't wanna have to keep doing that and I don't wanna use raw and JPEG 
raw plus JPEG because it uses it will use up a lot of memory because you're getting two files. You're getting a raw file and you're getting a JPEG. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nah, nah. These memory cards cost too much money to be doing all of that. Okay, so I just stick with <laughs> I stick with raw because then I know that I can recover if I need to recover in Lightroom or whatever editing software that I'm using. I know I can recover when I get it over there. If I've shot, you know, you got to have your exposure right in that. So make sure your exposure is correct. You can go if you're shooting in raw. You could probably possibly probably about 98% of the time recover your detail in those shadows and the highlights or whatever you can recover it so yeah that's my honest opinion I just shoot in raw because I'm a little lazy and I don't want to remember to switch back from JPEG to to raw so I just shoot in raw there you have it. There you go. Now, for me to tell you that's what you should do, I'm not going to do that because you do what's best for you. And my honest, my other honest opinion would be if you shoot a particular style of photo, um, let's say your kids, if you're just, you know, shooting your, your kids all, every day, all day, then I would say JPEG because your JPEG, you're not going to be... You, you want to catch your kids in the moment, right? You want to catch them doing what they do every day and not necessarily edit stuff. So edit, um, edit things out or anything like that. Then JPEG. JPEG would definitely be the way to go. Uh, if you're doing landscapes, for sure. Landscapes, if you're going to manipulate a photo, shoot raw shoot raw yeah that's my advice okay so there you have it my little two cents on raw versus jpeg final decision do what you're gonna do <laughs> so you watched all of this for me to say do you do what you do do what you like to do however you like to shoot raw versus JPEG, but just know and kind of have an understanding of, okay, if I shoot raw, I'm going to be, you know, taking up space. It's going to, they're larger files, so I may need a larger memory card. Okay. If I'm shooting JPEG, not so much. They're, they're compressed files. They're smaller files. And I may not be able, but I may not be able to capture or, or get back details from the picture. But yes, I appreciate everyone. I appreciate my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in for my old subscribers. Thank you for coming back and joining me on my photography talk with Nisha or on my fashion stuff. So again, Definitely hit the comments and let me know what do you shoot? Do you shoot raw? Do you shoot JPEG? Do you shoot them both? Do you do raw and JPEG? And yeah, I love the dialogue. So definitely hit the comments, hit the subscribe, hit the like. If you want to share, definitely share it. And yeah, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching my GG channel.